Hey there guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chaitan here from Devil Cube and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. And this is going to be a pretty much of a quick tutorial because today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create long shadows, realistic looking, perfectly amazing long shadows right here in Photoshop. Now, um, I'm making this tutorial because uh, Steven Mann asked me uh, that he wanted me to make a photo long shadow tutorial. And uh, so I said, okay, man, thanks so much. And thank you. And I'm going to make it. Uh, well, I actually asked him what kind of tutorial he wanted. So anyways, uh, let's get started with the tutorial here, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is in Photoshop, I'm going to go to file and choose new. And I'm going to set the width and height to 1000 by 1000. Now, you guys can choose whatever you want, but this is just for the purpose of making the tutorial. So I'm going to be using 1000 by 1000. And I'm going to hit Ctrl-0 to fit the screen to the canvas. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and choose a simple, nice background. So we can just put in our random text. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go for a red and something like that. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hold Alt Backspace and that's going to give it this. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get, grab my text tool. You can grab in a text, a logo, whatever it is, uh, it's going to fix out. So I'm just going to go ahead and type the letter A over here. And uh, I can't see anything, so I'm going to select that. Go ahead and I'm going to change the color to probably a blue color or uh, I'm not quite sure, maybe a white color. Yeah, the white looks good. All right. And uh, we have this. I'm going to just press Control T, and I'm going to scale it up pretty much. So it's a pretty big one. And I'm going to hit Control A, and I'm going to click here on the vertical align and the horizontal align. Just going to center my text right there. And now we can go ahead and stop. Now uh, there are two things that you want to know. The first thing is uh, you can do it in two ways. One is you can make it in such a way that the text cannot be edited later. And there's another way where you can make sure you can edit the text every time and the shadow changes accordingly. So it's basically we're using the concept of a smart object, which I'm going to teach you guys what it is right here. Now, if you guys want the template uh, for the smart object, uh, just mention in the comment section or, you know, link it. And I'm actually going to give it if I get probably 20 to 30 likes and uh, I'm going to give it out for you guys. So you guys can download and then make your own template and use it. So, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J and I'm going to bring the top layer down. And once I do that, I'm going to double click and I'm going to make this to a black color. And once I do that, you can see we have two layers. One is a black and one is a white and uh, yeah, one is behind. So you want to make sure that the black layer is down below. All right. So once you do that, you hit Ctrl T and Ctrl C is free transform. Then you hit the down arrow key once and the right arrow key once. So that nudges the whole thing by one pixel and hit on enter. All right. Now, once we do that, we're going to go right click on this and choose convert to smart object. So we have a smart object right over here. Now, what is a smart object? I'm going to explain in a little, in a little while. So once you have that, you want to select this layer. You want to hold on control, alt, shift and T. And what that's going to do is that's going to make a copy, but that's going to nudge it one pixel down and one pixel to the right. So you want to keep doing it until um, it covers the end of the screen, which is going to take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep pressing control, alt, shift, T. And, uh, you know, once it reaches the end of the screen, I'm going to resume the video back. All right, guys, so we're almost there and I'm going to go ahead and just finish this up pretty quick. Okay, so I have 182 copies. So once you have the one you want to do is select the first small object layer over here, then come down right below to the end. Wow, that's a lot. And you want to select this one, hold down shift. So it selects everything and press control G to group, or you can just right click and choose group. And once you have that, you're going to double click on that. We're going to go ahead and add a layer style. So uh, I don't know how to show this to you guys. Let me just keep it over here. All right. So we're going to click on gradient overlay. And I'm going to set the angle to minus 45. And here on the gradient, I'm going to choose a black to transparent one. So what you want to do is on the first stop, you want to choose black color. And the second stop can be any color. Does not matter. I'm just going to keep it for black. And here on the, so basically, I don't know if you guys know, but the bottom is the color and the top watch, the top stops are the opacity. I'm going to set the first one to a hundred and the second one, I'm going to set it to zero. And basically there's going to be a preset over here, which is, I don't, I'm not quite sure why I don't, why I don't have that, but that's the preset and I'm click on OK. And here we're going to click on OK. Basically, we still don't see anything. So what you want to do is you want to click here on the fill and you want to set that to zero. And now, as you can see, we have this beautiful, amazing, nice shadow. Then we're going to add a little bit more effect to it. I'm going to go to the gradient overlay and I'm going to reduce down the opacity. So as you can see here, you're getting this nice, beautiful looking gradient. It looks stunning, doesn't it? I'm going to probably reduce that to 20 and we have something that looks like this. It looks great, doesn't it guys? 
Another quick thing is if I just click over here and move, you can actually see I can fade in and fade out. That's because I'm editing the gradient position. So I can just move it on to the left side, on the right side, and you can actually edit. If I put it up full down, it becomes completely dark. And if I move it, I can fade out the gradient. As you can see here, guys, that is looking great. It's like there's a very faint gradient. If I put this to 100, probably I can show you guys better. So if I move this over here, as you can see here, it's fading in, it's fading out. It looks lovely. Probably I'm gonna set this to 30. And uh, I think 10 looks good. I don't know, 15, yeah, 15 is good. Uh, probably 20, all right. And uh, that's looking great. That's looking good. And I'm gonna click on okay. And there we have. Now, what is the concept of a smart object? Now, if I open up the layer, and I'm going to double click on the thumbnail over here of one of the layers and that's going to give me this option by saying after editing the contents choose file save and click on OK and that's going to open up this box for me. Now here what I can do is I can go ahead and change any letter probably I'm going to go set it to uh, I don't know let's try uh, probably um, let's see probably an X I don't know and uh, well, X and I'm going to press OK and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, save it by pressing Control s and that's going to save it up for me and this is going to take a while because it's going to update all the smart objects available on the scene or right, it's so almost done and there we go and uh, we're going to come back over here and as you can see here if i hide the first layer we see that we have already the shadow of the x but i want the x so i'm going to click on that i'm going to press x and boom there we go we have this amazing looking shadow now the little problem over here so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and come right over here, press Ctrl T and maybe I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Yeah, uh, let's actually scale it down evenly. So uh, let's actually do one thing. Let's come here and set this to uh, 80 by 80. All right. And hit enter. I'm going to hit Ctrl S and that's going to go ahead and change everything again. All right, and I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna press Ctrl T, set this to uh, 80 by 80, all right? And boom, there we go. That looks awesome. That looks super stunning, guys. It looks lovely. It looks lovely. So um, that is pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'm gonna have a couple of cool tutorials coming soon. If you guys actually haven't checked out my other recent videos on how to inc grow your YouTube channel and become better YouTubers in 2017 and how to create your own amazing shout out series, then do check that. Uh, it's gonna be in the annotations at the end or other cards on the screen. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.